Good afternoon, my name is Robert and in a few weeks I'll be talking at Tech at South Africa and I'm getting ready for that and I thought as part of how I get ready for that I'd share some tricks that I'm going to be using on stage to make my presentations really successful and hopefully you can take these, present these tricks and use them in your presentations as well. In terms of the tricks I'm going to show, I'm going to show five tricks today. Uh, it's going to take about six, seven minutes. We're going to have a Windows 8 specific trick. We're going to have an Office 2012, uh, 2013 specific trick. Two tricks that will work on any version of Windows. And one trick specifically for Visual Studio 2012. So let's dive into the first one. And the first one is to use the tool called Zoomit. So Zoomit is a free tool for Microsoft. Uh, it uh, you can download it from the IT Process internal site. And what it allows you to it allows you to do a number of very cool features. Firstly, we can hit Control 1 and we can zoom in and we can start zooming in more with the mouse wheel uh, and moving around. And so this really allows us to focus in on areas of products, focus air in on screens, on things that may be hard to read, particularly if you have a big audience room where you might have people sitting 20, 30 meters away. Uh, and once you click on that, you'll see we get a little red pointer, and I can use sort of things like Control Shift to draw arrows, or Shift to draw straight lines, or uh, Control to draw boxes, and you know we can even type on here and say hello. Um, and so there's lots of very cool tricks in this. It is a fantastic tool to really engage with the audience, help them focus on an error, help highlight things, as well as making things that are maybe it's just a bit too small on the screen a lot more focused. The next trick is specifically for Windows 8, and this is for the notifications. Once again, we'll jump back to our desktop here. And if you're like me, you'll have apps like the Twitter app, the Skype app, and you don't want these things popping up little messages on your screen all the time, particularly if you have friends like I do who are going to use it to make a fool of you on stage. So what you need to do to make sure that you suppress all those notifications is you use the Windows key and plus I or swipe from the right and go down to the notifications button here and you'll see mine's already disabled, we'll tap it to re-enable my notifications, I'll see them. But if I tap it again, I can get a choice to hide it for a set period. So we can say, hide for an hour. And those notifications will no longer appear while I'm doing my presentation. Right. The third trick, and this will work on uh, pretty much every version of Windows, provided you're on a laptop or a tablet, is to really go and control the power options. By default, Windows will have a balanced power mode, meaning it's going to give you good performance and good battery life. But when you're on stage, you want everything to look amazing. And really, you're going to be plugged into power on the stage anyway, so you don't really care about battery life, you just want performance. So you need to go and make sure that you have that set up. The way to do that, go find the uh, power icon in your system tray, uh, right click on that, go to power options, and make sure you are set from the default balanced to high performance. And that will give you really great performance for your batteries. Uh, for your demos and at the cost of using all the battery on your machine. The fourth trick is specifically for PowerPoint 2013. PowerPoint has always had a great, um, I'm down to screen to screen too, has always had a great presenter mode. Meaning if you have multiple screens, you could get a view specifically for the presenter and the audience would just see the slides and let you see what's coming up and so on. But with 2013, they've enabled that by default and even if you are in uh, duplicated mode for your screen, so if I hit Windows key P, uh, I actually just set up on PC screen now, but if I set on duplicate, um, it will now actually go and turn off duplicate, change it to extended, turn on presenter mode, and so you get this great thing. The problem with this for technical demos is that you can't alt tab anymore. And so every time you want to get out of PowerPoint to your technical demo, you have to hit escape. And then it has to convert back from extended to duplicate. It has to and turn off the presenter mode. And then you can do your demo. And then when you finish your demo and you want to show some slides again, you hit a five and it's going to redo that. It takes a couple of seconds. It's a very disjointed sort of approach. My suggestion, turn it off. If you are going to be doing duplicated mode, It'll give you a much cleaner experience for doing your demos. The last one is for Visual Studio. And this is maybe the most amazing trick of all. Uh, if we jump into Visual Studio 2012 here, See, I've got just as I normally do, and I've got really sort of standard font size here, and that's not good on a stage. We really want to make sure that people can see this. And so, you know, what you do normally is come into your tools and options and go and up increase the font size so it's a lot bigger. And that's a great option to do because that means that people sitting in the back can read the code well, but it only handles the code. 
we, it doesn't help us with the solution explorer. It doesn't help us with things like the toolbox. It doesn't help us with the um, toolbar at the top. It doesn't help us anywhere else. And that can be a problem if you are doing demos that you know you want to focus in on something. Obviously, you could use Zoomit as I mentioned before, but there is a better option. If you install the free Productivity Power Tools extension from Microsoft, which adds lots and lots of interesting features, it will also add a new thing called Present On. Um, Present On doesn't have a GUI. There's no way to sort of click a button for this. You have to use the Quick Launch, and that makes it kind of hard to find. But once you know it's there, it's, very, it's really easy to use. You just type Present On and hit Enter. And note that all, everything in Visual Studio is a lot bigger suddenly. My Solution Explorer is a bigger font. My, all my uh, labels are bigger. My code window is automatically bigger. One command. When I'm finished presenting, I can just type present off and I'll go back to the way it was. And so this really makes for a great way to make Visual Studio look great on stage, projected out to the audience, even if they are 34 meters away from you at any point. So just a quick review of that. We looked at Zoomit and how we can use that to zoom in on any point in stage as well as highlight, focus the audience on certain areas. It works on any version of Windows. It'll work with any version of Visual Studio as well, so it's a great tool to have. Uh, if you are using Windows 8, we show turn the notifications off. Make sure you're not getting those uh, uh, embarrassing messages appearing on the screen. Then we looked at how to turn uh, improve the power settings on Windows so you get great performance, and that will work on any version of Windows as well. And then my suggestion for working with PowerPoint 2013 in a technical demo, turn presenter view off, so you have a better experience swapping backwards and forwards between apps and, and slides. And lastly, and in my opinion, the best demo, uh, best new feature, turn present mode on for Visual Studio with the Productivity Power Tools extension. So I thank you for taking a few minutes to watch this, and hopefully you get some benefit out of this. And if you do use these, let me know on my Twitter uh, or via my website. Thanks so much.